This lesson is about the early explorers of the Americas. The guiding questions that this lesson will answer are, what were the accomplishments of the explorations? What regions of North America were explored and settled by France, England, and Spain? And what regions were explored by Portugal? The four countries to start exploring North America were Portugal, Spain, France, England, and the Netherlands, also called Holland. Notice that all of these countries are in the continent of Europe. Open up your history notebook to the next blank page. You can title your notes for this homework lesson, Explorers to Know. I will teach you a song next class about four of these men to help you remember what country they explored for and where they explored in North America. The country to first start exploring was Portugal. As early as the 1400s, a new energy had taken hold and exploring the rest of the globe was of interest in a new way. One reason why this was so was because of a man named Prince Henry the Navigator. He was from Portugal and he believed that the sea was the way to Asia's wealth. He started a school to build better boats and sailing tools for navigation. This really propelled the Age of Exploration into existence. In 1488, Portuguese explorer Bartholomew Dias became the first European mariner to round the southern tip of Africa, opening the way for a sea route from Europe to Asia. Dias and many other explorers used the something called an astrolabe it, used, it was used to determine the latitude of a ship at sea by measuring the sun's noon altitude. They were designed to allow for their use on boats in rough water and heavy winds, which astrolabes are ill-equipped to handle. In a way, it was a very ancient astronomical computer for solving problems relating to time and the position of the sun and stars in the sky. Today, this navigational tool has evolved into the sextant, which ship captains can still use to measure the angle of the sun, moon, and stars to determine their location at sea when there are no landmarks around. Vasco da Gama was another Portuguese explorer and the first European to reach India by sea. His first voyage to India took two years, from 1497 to 1499, and was the first to connect Europe to Asia by an ocean route. His success encouraged other sailors and explorers to follow his example and take the risk too. John Cabot explored for England, but he was really an Italian man who could not get Italy to pay for his exploration voyages to the New World. England hired him to go for their country because they were eager to get in the race for getting to Asia by sea. Columbus had crossed the Atlantic in 1492 and thought that he had successfully made it to Asia. That's why he called the Native Americans their Indians. This news reached other countries in Europe that Spain had made it to Asia, so John Cabot also intended to sail to Asia for England. But just like Columbus, he had no idea that the continents of North and South America existed between Europe and Asia, as well as both the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. John Cabot reaches Eastern Canada and is convinced that it is Asia. What we know is that the land he thought was Asia was actually the islands of New Finland and Nova Scotia. Cabot is the first European to reach North America in 1497 because remember Columbus had only gotten to the islands of the Caribbean, not the mainland of America. Francisco Coronado was born in Spain to a wealthy family, but since he was the youngest son, he would not inherit any of his parents' money. He decided to go to the New World as an explorer and conquistador so that he could become rich and famous. He was not the first Spanish explorer to reach North America, so when he arrived, he joined a Spanish settlement that had already been established in Mexico called New Spain. He married the daughter of a rich government official living in New Spain and got very popular. Over time, he heard many stories about an alleged city of gold, a rumor the Native Americans in the area had told the greedy Spanish about. 
Coronado was eager to find gold for himself, and so he set off with some of his conquistador friends to claim more land for Spain, kill, convert, and enslave Native Americans, and go looking for the seven cities of Cibola, or the cities of gold that he desperately wanted to find. He came across the Pueblo Indians and worked his way north into what is today the southwestern part of the United States. He followed the Colorado River, since there were no maps made of this area before him that he t could look at, and there were not any roads yet either. Coronado was the first European to see the Grand Canyon, and he made it all the way to Kansas in the Great Plains. Coronado never found gold and never found the cities of gold that he had motivated him to set out on his mission. But he did find the Grand Canyon. Born into a mariner family in France, Samuel de Champlain was well-educated with navigation, map-making, drawing, and writing practical reports. Champlain got experience sailing and exploring on several other French voyages to the New World. Then he led his own voyage in 1608. Champlain goes to Canada to establish a fur trading post. He chose a site along the St. Lawrence River and named it Quebec. It became the first permanent settlement in New France. He explored the St. Lawrence and the Great Lakes making maps to send back to France along the way. Champlain became friendly with the Algonquian and Huron Indians living near Quebec. This map shows the areas that were settled by the Spanish, Portuguese, French, British, Russian, and Dutch, or those from Holland. Keep in mind that there were other, many other explorers that came from these European countries, but I have just selected a few to mention to you today.